while the questions go over to Discord. So first up, uh, Lady Ada, you were working on this. What is this? This is a magnetometer that you can buy. Uh, I cannot okay. get any magnetometers. Um, I ordered uh -huh. some a year ago and they still haven't come in. Uh, we covered this on The Great Search a few weeks ago, is like, what can I get that would be a good magnetometer for an IMU? This chip that MMC 5603 came up, gonna make a little breakout for it, get into the store because uh, it's a magnetometer and I can buy it. Okay, um, here's a little quick video that we made. This is the ESP32S2 that we're doing. All right, Lady what is this? Hey, I am working today on an ESP32S3 feather. Uh, if anyone watching my little videos, you might be like, hey, wait, you made an S3 feather a while ago. Why are you working on it again? Well, um, the S3 mini is the same pinout as the S2 mini. And I recently um, just did a revision for the ESP32 S2 feather to fix the power supply and uh, deep sleep mode with another LDO. Um, so when we did the last run of the S2, I just swapped out one board with an S3 module. And what's cool is since then, Arduino has added uh, support for the S3 in a branch. And so I've got the NeoPixel going and I've got the board definition going. So, so far so good. So I'm gonna order these PCBs this weekend cause um, I got all the pins working, I squared C, SPI, UART, it's all good. So this S3 is ready to order and get in the shop. And uh, you'll see some cool projects ahead. We're doing these 3D printed covers uh, for graphic novels. These are so cool. Um, this is a prototype that uh, Don Pedro are working on. We're going to have a bunch of different ones that you can print out and uh, not only protect your graphic novels, but uh, display them really nicely. Phil B is working on this really cool thing. This is uh, modeled after a very famous looking computer. I'll let the chat guess which one that is. And then we're uh, doing some updates to PyLeap. Um, we'll be able to load in a JSON file that'll display whatever latest guide that we have and you'll instantly, with no code, be able to send off whatever project that you can see on your phone to a Bluetooth-enabled CircuitPython device. Yeah. And magically, but it's not magic, it's code that you can learn. Um, or not, you don't even need to use a code. And uh, get all these projects on your device instantaneously. Yeah, we're, we're definitely seeing a future where students and kids do not have computers. Um, they have phones and they want to write code. They want to explore engineering. Or most people. Um, yeah. But they don't have a computer. And, you know, a lot of schools, they have locked down tablets or locked down um, laptops. It isn't mm -hmm. like when we were kids when it was like, hey, everybody, you can do like basically do whatever you want with the Apple IIs um, in the computer lab or the, the PCs. Um, so if you only have a phone, how can you um, get people interested in coding and electronics? Uh, so PyLeap is, is our view of that. It's a... Uh, totally wireless, um, totally cross-platform, no hardware, drivers required uh, way of programming um, my controller boards. Okay.